My dear loyal brothers, with a firm conviction and corroborated by numerous signs, we give the good news that in return for the light one month prison sentence the three students of the Madrasatu Zahra received and their suffering the judge's extremely unwarranted, meaningless and cold anger, the spirit things, angels and coming generations will applaud them exceedingly in place of that man's trifling penalty and meaningless anger and they congratulate such students. And because harassments and torments of this sort are means of being saved from millions of years' punishments in everlasting imprisonment, they are as nothing and do not have the importance of a fly's wing. Indeed, they make one pleased and proud. The self-important and famous Prince Bismarck, who a century ago was considered to be the world's most intelligent and scrupulous philosopher and imperious ruler, and although a Christian belittled all the former religions and their scriptures, and was even so bold as to deny them, affirmed in writing that he had bowed before the all-wise Quran and ascended to it with all his strength, and he announced in the newspapers to all the world that he had renounced his obstinacy, egotism, and irreligion and surrendered to the Quran. Just when this was being published, the present terrible government to the northeast, which denies all the revealed religions, is sending many of its Muslim population to the Hajj to make a show before the Islamic world as though it has given up its irreligion, obduracy, and hostility, and no longer denies the Quran, and as though it recognizes the Quran's importance better than the people here, and is surrendering to its greatness and having recourse to it in a sort of way. They say that the authorities here are lagging behind them in this question and do not send as many people to the Hajj as they do. In the face of this, at a time our authorities are allowing complete freedom in the question of the Hajj and political propaganda of this type is being carried out, and the nurse students of the Madrasa Zuzahra are publishing with their pens those vast and splendid truths of the Quran of miraculous exposition with such wondrous treatises as Zulfikar and the Staff of Moses, and compelling the most upright atheists to affirm them at such a time, the assaults of the people of misguidance surely cause not only the people of truth to weep, but also the spirit beings and angels and even ingrate the earth and the heavens. Since a thousand copies of the sublime sign printed in the old letters and all the treatises of the Risale-Nur have been unanimously acquitted and returned having been scrutinized for two years, to deem it a crime to duplicate in the old letters a number of treatises that have been returned and impose a sentence is a matter of serious concern for the judiciary and insults its honor. Secondly, I do not have a personal scribe now and the other scribes do not understand my language at all well. Also, I am unwell and can only write slowly and with difficulty. Since yesterday, close on 20 letters have arrived and they contain the names of very many of our brothers and sisters. So, I congratulate all of them on the festival and with all my life and spirit except those who wish to be new students. May God Almighty be pleased with both them and those who so prompted them, and may He grant them success in whatever their hearts wish for. Thirdly, both myself and the whole Nur circle have been made pleased and happy by the final letter of Sabri, the Nur power station, which will be added to the additional letters, and the sacred services of Ali Osman and Chilingir Ali in publishing the risale Nur, and by Ibrahim Adham's effective activities in Balkesir and that region, and many people entering the fold of the risale Nur through his guidance, and similarly to Hassan Faizi, by Ahmed Fuad's activity and devotion in the vicinity of Eflani, and by Sabri from Konya's efforts to induce students of the secular schools to enter the fold of the risale Nur in large numbers, and by the good will and ratifying stance towards the risale Nur of foremost Hojab F.B. Efendi, the Quranic exegesists, and other Konya ulema, and by the teacher Abdurrahman Ihsan's sincere and earnest devotion in his letter, 
and by the two or three people described in the preacher Osman of Tavshanlı's letter who have with the utmost earnestness become nur students, and by truly sincere nur Jews emerging in the villages of Erdir, as affirmed by Ali Osman and Halil Ibrahim, and by Abdullah from Araç, who was the first of the Kastamonu secular school students to embrace the Risale Nur, and has performed many services for it in Ankara University, and has described in his heartening letter which shows his firm adherence to belief and religion, his efforts to protect and defend Abdurrahman's son Wahdet in Ankara, and that due to the many readers of the Risale Nur there, they have insufficient copies of it, and that he is spreading it among the young people there together with his friend Mehmet from Konya, and by the prayers and descriptions of the Risale Nur's effectiveness in the sincere letter sent by Ali Akdal, who is closely concerned with it and, God willing, will be a second Ahmed Faizi in the region of Aydın, all these messages have filled both us and all the Nur circle with joy, and by implication are a vast gift this festival. May Almighty God be pleased with all of them. They should not be often this that I have been unable to write personally and separately to each of them. I have approached without altering it to Shrev's petition to the court of appeal. You may send your copy of it to the court. Since you have a copy, you can also add it to the additional letters without my sending this letter. You know better than I do concerning the price of a guide for youth which you asked about in the letter that has just arrived. It shouldn't be less than one or one and a half liras. We say, may God grant blessings on Hüsrev's pen, which has started on the fourth word. May God grant him success. Amen. I send in return for their festival congratulations. Congratulations to the Berber Hufse, the hero of Safranbolu, and his two innocent Nurjur sons, Hüsnü and Yilmaz, and to the innoble heroes, Ali Osman, and his two Nurjur sons, and I offer prayers for their success. My dear, loyal brother, Refet Bey, Firstly, I received an acute warning in my spirit that I should explain a matter in connection with a number of minor incidents that have slightly affected us. It is like this. Of course, you select Risale Nur students know that the Risale Nur can be made the tool of nothing, nor be made the means of anything other than God's pleasure, and that before anything it teaches the truth of belief, and saves the belief of the weak and unfortunate, and those who have fallen to that. Secondly, the Risale Nur's most powerful force in the face of so many opponents is sincerity, and just as it can be made the tool of nothing in the world, so it cannot be concerned with any currents based on feelings of partisanship, particularly currents connected to politics. For partisanship destroys sincerity and distorts the truth. In fact, the reason I have given up politics these last 30 years is this. Because of his feelings of bias towards the political current he supported, a revered scholar of religion insulted another prominent, sound scholar to the extent of calling him a depraved sinner because he held opposing views, while at the same time he praised and applauded a famous and aggressive dissembler who agreed with his ideas. It caused me to shudder to the very depths of my being, thinking, when involvement in politics is combined with feelings of bias, it gives rise to quite extraordinary mistakes, I declared. I seek refuge with God from a Satan and from politics, and from that time I gave up politics. In consequence of that state of mind, brothers like yourself, now that for the last 25 years, I have neither read a newspaper, nor listened to one being read, nor have I been curious. And for the past 10 years, I have evinced no interest or curiosity in the world war, nor have I known about it. You know too that, apart from my court defenses, in the 22 years of this distressing captivity, so as to avoid having any contact with politics and partisanship and to prevent marrying the sincerity of the Risale Nur, I have never applied to the government for my own well-being. 
You also know that, as I wrote and told you a while in prison, if those who condemn me to death and torment and maltreat me is how they believe through the Sari Nur, bear witness that I forgive them, and so that no harm should come to sincerity due to feelings of bias. I have had nothing to do with the stormy political currents that have emerged from home and abroad these last two or three years. I have also warned my brothers about them to an extent. Thirdly, you know that I do not accept alms or charity, nor can I be an intermediary for such benefactions. Due to this, I am selling my clothes and other necessities and buying with the money my own books from the brothers who wrote them out. In this way, no worldly benefits will impair the Risale Nur's sincerity, and it will be an exemplary lesson for our other brothers so that they will avoid making it the tool of anything. Fourthly, the Risale Nur suffices for its true students. They should be content with it and not set their sights on other honors or benefits material or spiritual. Also, so as not to make people hostile and resentful towards the Risale Nur, one should not enter into arguments, disputes, or biased discussions on religious questions that are going to upset them. In fact, I had a premonition at exactly the same time that our brother Mustafa Oruç was disputing with someone in a fashion contrary to the Risale Nur's way, and I felt an intense anger and indignation at him my heart. I felt truly saddened and wanted to demute him from the high rank he had won from the Salih Nur. But he was an Abdurrahman for me, so why did I feel such anger towards him? Then he visited me this festival, thanks be to God, he had heeded a crucial lesson and understood that serious mistake of his. He had confessed to his error at the very time I was angry with him here. God willing, it was a tournament for him and he was saved, completely purified. Fifthly, for the past four or five months, a person has evidently been sending me a newspaper here. I have only just learned that it was being sent to me. My friends here know my habits and they were scared and did not tell me. Since apart from the Risale Nur I accept no book or magazine, let alone newspapers, and anyway I don't know a single letter of the new alphabet. Now, someone showed me a journalist's letter, who is friendly and from the same region, which contains a one-page interview with me. They told me that he had been sending a paper to me, but they were frightened to show it to me. So I told them. Send that friend many greetings from me. The old Said, who he knew, has changed and cut all ties with this world. He is also ill and cannot write a personal letter to that brother, so he should not be offended. I send greetings to all the friends there, especially brothers like Hafiz Emin and Hafiz Fahreddin, and I again congratulate them on the festival. For the past three years, our brother Ahmed Faizi, who is the Risale Nur's lawyer, and the Hassan Faizi of Aydin, and a Husrev of that region, has affirmed the hundreds of allusions to the Risale Nur made by the refined stamp of the unseen, and most powerfully, and definitely proud, in agreement with the meaning of certain hadiths and verses from the Quran, and with the science of divination, the Risale Nur's collective personality. He ascribes to the Risale Nur's interpreter a number of allusions made by Hadith to the Nur student's collective personality, which is a representative of the Risale Nur's collective personality. The fact is, true, he is a sort of representative of that collective personality only in regard to the Risale Nur's composition. It is neither my right nor my due that I should be the object of that circuit illusion. In any event, I have not studied it very closely. If my time and indisposition permit me to do so, and to modify the minute investigations over three and a half years of that extraordinarily intelligent brother, I shall send them to you to write out and add as an addendum to the mysterious collection or to the fleshy's collection, 
as a proof of the Risale-i-Nur's authenticity. Send in my name a copy of the ratifying stamp of the Unseen to our brother, Ahmed Faizi, the risale nurse lawyer, in return for his gifts of figs so that they will not upset me. For recently, numerous experiences have made it understood that unreciprocated presents make me ill. In return for the sincere letters they have written me, I offer many prayers for that brother's blessed wife and respected mother and their children called Said and Nuri. With all my life and spirit I accept with him the fault of the Nur innocence, the innocent children, and respected, pious wife of such a heroic Nurju whom he has entrusted to the Risale Nur to serve it as the Widis. And I send greetings to Mehmed Emin, Ali Akta, and Ahmed Faizi, and to all our brothers, and we pray for them. In his name be he glorified. My dear loyal brothers, having sold some unnecessary foodstuffs and clothes, I am sending you, as the price of the flesh's collection, a truly blessed hundred liras together with ten blessed liras, which is what remains of my salary from the Dari Rikmet, with which I was going to go on the Hajj, and is left from what I have spent on food these last twenty-two years. My dear loyal brothers, Endless thanks be to Almighty God, a sign of the Risale Nur's acceptance by Mecca and Medina is this. The Denizli hero Hafiz Mustafa obtained from Istanbul the Zulfikar, Staff of Moses, and Shining Lamp that were going to be sent to the Indian Ulema and on the road, read them to some people traveling to the Hajj. Then in Medina, they together handed them over to a very famous Kashmiri scholar and to someone who knew Turkish well. The two young Nurju Hajis who had accompanied Hafiz Mustafa and read their Salinur on the journey and some other Hajis brought me this good news and that the person to whom they had given those collections thought very highly of them and undertook to send them to the center of the Indian Ulema and also that the collections designated for Medina had arrived in good condition as had those sent to other places, they brought the good news of the Risale Nur's spread and acceptance abroad. Only, of the three collections sent to Al Azhar University, Zulfikar remained here, we were unable to send it, only two of them went. The wisdom in this is that Zulfikar is an extensive, scholarly lesson. It would not have been appropriate to send it as instruction to Al Azhar University which is the supreme madrasa of the Islamic world. Also, there is a cholera epidemic there at the moment, so Zulfikar would not have received the attention it deserves. My dear loyal brothers, Firstly, may God bless and bestow endless happiness on our brother Hafiz Mustafa, a leading Nur champion, who took the main Risale in our collections to Mecca and gave them to the eminent Indian scholar Ahmed Ali Shimshiri, who assured him that they would be translated into Urdu and be sent to India. The Madrasat Zehra should write a letter to that lofty scholar. His address is Ahmed Ali Shimshiri, Baba Salam, Mecca. Secondly, we learned that the incident this time was due to their unfounded suspicions and making mountains out of molehills. A sign of it was this. On orders from the Minister of the Interior, the Governor of Afyon and Chief of Police came here at night, intending to raid my house, but because the public prosecutor did not agree, they had to wait till morning. They then appointed two men who were most hostile to us and who without ado smashed the lock and entered. The same day, when I went out in the Phaeton, in a way that was quite unprecedented, five aeroplanes flew over us very low because they knew it was my Phaeton and twice returned. Footnote. Yes, we confirm this in the name of the nurse students here. The incident occurred exactly as described. Terzi Mustafa, Ismail, Mustafa, his servant Nuri, Hayri, Khalil. Then, the next day, we went in a different direction, and while passing along a fairly concealed valley in the Phaeton, 
we saw five planes flying very low as though they were searching for something. We understood that they were looking for us. Just like the previous day, those five planes flew over us and over the town and when I returned to my room, they disappeared. This was a powerful sign that they had made a hundred mountains out of one molehill. You may convey my thanks and gratitude to the authorities and judiciary in Sparta, for here I am subjected to these meaningless harassments due to groundless suspicions. The heroes of the Madrasa to Zehra that have been subjected in three years to only a tenth of it, so I forgive the Sparta authorities their persecution. Thirdly, Concerning the present calamity, I consider it as usual the justice of divine determining and outputting of divine providence, and I saw that compared with other provinces, Kutahya had lagged behind in regard to the Risale Nur, despite being close to its circle, so to awaken its interest and that of its judiciary and administration in the Risale Nur like those of Denizli and Kastamonu. Yes, However much his ideas and duties are against us, he was sent to that province so that he might profit from the Salinur in respect of belief and win reward for the Nurjus. Divine determining also dealt me a compassionate slave because I told myself, the interior minister comes from Erzurum and my home region and the governor of Afyon from Antalya and up till now they have not bothered me. I am free now, and I have found a fair-minded governor. I am not going to leave Emirda, but in punishment for the sort of joy I felt and my lack of caution, divine determining dealt me a blow at the hands of those two men and acted justly. The governor of Afyon, the chief of police, and the committee here wrote to Ankara concerning our case. There is no question of founding a Sufi order or political society, but there are 200,000 Nurji brothers who are ready to sacrifice themselves for anything Said Nursi says. They cause serious consternation to the government in another way. But there may possibly be an advantage for the Risale Nur and the Nurjus in that memo of theirs, as well as some harm for my person. One aspect of the advantage is this. The conditions are indeed harsh. But there is a truth as unaccessible as steel for which 200,000 Turks are eager customers and to which they are ready to devote themselves and their spirits. It strengthens the belief of anyone whose belief is weak on this point. The politicians and those who have lost their belief are frightened to provoke it and will no longer swiftly attack it. As for the harm towards my person, Almighty God is the preserver. They may try to damage my prestige with slanders that would not occur to a Satan even, in order to denigrate me, induce my brothers to flee from me, and rupture our brotherhood. Yusuf Sia, who was a member of the experts' committee and is a consultant at the Directorate of Religious Affairs, and the other Hojas, have asked for a complete set of their Salinur from us. As a respectful request, they sent with Hasan Çalışkan, whom we had sent there, such pieces as the 13th word, second station, about the transformation of minute particles, the discussion about particles at the beginning of the first stopping place of the 32nd word, the piece about the air, and the parts about particles in the treatise on nature. It is as though they want to understand the meaning of the verse, and there is nothing but it glorifies him with praise, and it may be understood through those pieces. Those pieces also silence the materialists, who have now started to corrupt ideas freely. Said Nursi